Okay. Uh, okay. How are uh, you guys uh, doing? Because uh, right? in here, the speed you're doing the rice down. <laughs> <laughs> Kate Middleton's controversial strategy to control the cancer story The video revealing the end of the Princess of Wales chemotherapy has inspired some in the UK. But angered others Kate Middleton's video announcing that her chemotherapy has finally ended has been met with relief and joy from those who see her as the royal family's greatest asset and hope for the future. But the video has also stirred controversy. The footage edited by film director and wedding specialist Will Waugh, has left many wondering whether the Prince and Princess of Wales are adopting a new strategy to communicate directly with the public and keep the media out. It's hard to imagine the King doing something like that, said Robert Jobson, a senior royal journalist and author of the biography Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales. It was a little inappropriate and I didn't agree with some of the lyrics. But overall I think it was good. The video moved a lot of people who saw it, that's true, but is this the way the monarchy should be? Whenever the British royal family tries to expose their private life in public, there are mixed reactions. Some find this overly sentimental approach unpleasant, while others see it as a justification for their existence. We're so used to knowing the details of celebrities' lives that requests for privacy are seen as an affront, according to Times columnist James Marriott. Marriott is among those who believe Middleton fell into the trap of making sad concessions to a public with an insatiable hunger for more. Although it was Kate's decision on when and how to announce the end of treatment, the video is a kind of admission that her private life is now everyone's property. If there was a time when Prince William would get angry and snap at photographers trying to steal snapshots of his children. This three-minute film published by Kensington Palace on social media offers an intimate peek into the controlled but previously unimaginable life of their children. In it, William and Kate spend time together, holding hands, kissing and laughing. They are portrayed as an idyllic family playing with their children and overcoming misfortune and recovery together. In 1969, Queen Elizabeth II turned the BBC's cameras on her family's life for a documentary entitled The Royal Family. The idea was the brainchild of William Heseltine, then Buckingham Palace press secretary, who wanted to humanize the Windsors for a public that saw them as arrogant and aloof. A total of 37 million people watched the footage. Rumor has it that the late Queen immediately regretted the decision and ordered the BBC to archive the footage and not rebroadcast it, as suggested by the Netflix series The Crown. Some, such as the late Queen's biographer Robert Hardman, argue that this is not true. He argues that the palace was thrilled by the documentary's impact but wanted to maintain control of the item which was more like a family album than public property. But in the age of social media, it's hard to put the genie back in the bottle once it's out. The Princess of Wales video seems to be trying to approach social media in her own way. Social media, of course, is the stage where Kate Hunting became a hilarious global blood sport earlier this year. At the time, the Be Kind Brigade formed despite the fact that she had been explicitly told that she would not be making any public appearances until Easter because of her serious illness. She grew tired of her within a few weeks, sparking a vicious frenzy of conspiracy theories about her absence and the reasons behind it, columnist Marina Hydrode and The Guardian. A down-to-earth princess though Kate grew up in a wealthy upper-middle-class family, she comes from a more ordinary background than her husband. Prince William. She went to private school, her parents have always done her best, but she knows what a normal life is. And I think that's important as we enter a world where new generations are questioning the idea of hereditary monarchy, Jobson said. Twenty years from now, we'll be challenging this issue in countries like Australia, Canada and New Zealand, where the British monarch is still a symbolic head of state.
and Kate's opinion will play a big role in advising Prince William. The Princess of Wales is Britain's most popular royal. Her husband, William, is at 69%. Her popularity is 71%, according to a regularly updated YouGov poll. Middleton's illness comes at a time when her popularity was astronomical. Charles III's is at 56%. She dominated the front pages and was praised by both British and international media. During the two months she stepped away from public view to recover from abdominal surgery, rumors and conspiracy theories about her whereabouts and health flew non-stop. The soberness with which she reappeared in a video confirming her cancer diagnosis on March 22 stands in stark contrast to this later work, complete with slow motion, filters, music and rehearsed scenes. Royalists are not convinced by this latest publication, arguing that the Princess of Wales succumbed to the greed of a certain audience. Mistakenly believing that the only way to satisfy their curiosity was to explain a sweet version of a painful personal reality. That is certainly what should happen against cancer.